In Afghanistan, at least five people have been killed at Kabul airport as thousands of people try to enter planes and leave. Earlier, the U.S. troops fired in the air as a massive crowd mobbed the Hamid Karzai airport's runway. Witnesses said it was not clear whether the victims were killed by gunshots or in a stampede. The tension built after all commercial flights out of the airport were cancelled. Following the gunfire, the U.S. Embassy in Kabul warned American citizens against traveling to the airport. However, a Taliban spokesperson said on Twitter that the fighters were under strict orders not to harm anyone. The Taliban declared that the war in Afghanistan is over after they took control of the presidential palace in Kabul. In an interview, group spokesperson said that the Taliban do not want to live in isolation and call for peaceful international relations. Meanwhile, an Afghan military plane has crashed in Uzbekistan, leaving two Afghan military servicemen injured. For more on this, we are joined by Samira Khan, our correspondent in Turkham border. Now, Samira, can you please update us on the current situation at the Pak Afghan border? Right now, I'm here at uh, the uh, biggest trade crossing point between Pakistan and Afghanistan, and it is called Tokham Gate, and it is said to be the largest trade and pedestrian crossing point between these two countries. It was uh, closed for, uh, for, uh, for, uh, for a couple of weeks uh, due to COVID situation, but right now, why I'm here, I am here to capture all these exclusive shots. In my background, you can, you can uh, see that the, the border crossing at uh, on, on, on the other side of the uh, border, uh, of, I'm, I'm talking about Afghanistan, where the advanced movements of Taliban, they were in process for quite a few times. But right now, what is exclusive from this point is that this crossing point has been uh, taken over by uh, Taliban. The uh, control on the other side of the border at the side of Afghanistan is with, with, with Taliban officially. Because earlier in the morning, the city of Jalalabad was, uh, uh, it, 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 was uh, it, it, it just fell to Taliban, it was officially handed over to Taliban, and uh, the governor, in a, in a simple ceremony, handed over the, the control of uh, the entire Vilayat. Vilayat is uh, said to be a province in, uh, in, in Afghan language in Dari. Uh, it was handed over to Taliban, and now, after uh, the after having control of Ningarhar province, they took over Jalalabad, which is the central uh, city of Ningarhar province. And after taking control of uh, Jalalabad, uh, it is hardly 25 to 30 kilometers away from uh, this uh, huge uh, trade and crossing point between Pakistan and Afghanistan. So uh, these are the scenes right now. And we can officially say, uh, we can now officially say that uh, uh, the Taliban uh, have, uh, uh, they, they, they have posted their Islamic Emirates flag right now. It is right there in front of me on the side of Afghanistan. And it has been replaced with the official uh, red, black and, uh, the, uh, and, and, and that official flag of Afghanistan. But uh, I, I'm just trying to speak to a few officials that they are representing the Islamic Emirate. The Islamic Emirate is the name uh, to the state that has been dedicated by the Taliban for their uh, for for the uh, for the uh, structure of their government that is going to be claimed by Taliban in Afghanistan soon. So uh, I'm just trying to uh, speak to some of the officials right now. Let's see if they agree to speak to us. It will be. Uh, another uh, insightful discussion with them that what exactly they want in Afghanistan and uh, once again the scenes are right there and uh, on our side it is uh, the uh, border side of Pakistan gate Gotham and everything is quite normal here the Pakistani officials are present right now at the, at the gate and they are dealing uh, with, the, uh, with, with the with the assigned and designated officials from the uh, Taliban and uh, after the fall of uh, uh, Spin Boldak, uh, uh, the, the Spin Boldak and uh, uh, another trade crossing point which is very imminent and prominent between Pakistan and Afghanistan, uh, Chaman and Spin Boldak trade crossing point has also been reopened for the uh, two-way traffic. That is, more, uh, majority of the traffic is aimed to boost the trade volume between the two countries. So right here, I'm signing off from here. Sumera so, Khan, Pakistan Gate Tour Khan, reporting for industry. Samara Khan, thank you so much for updating us from the Pakistan border.